love growing plants and flowers. It's not very complicated, but I made a lot of mistakes while getting my green thumb. So when my friend Alex called yesterday and asked for help with her plant, I had to lend a hand. Hello? Hi, Courtney. Hi, what's up? I'm trying to grow a flower, but it just won't grow. Did you follow the instructions on the seed packet? I did, and it's been three weeks. And nothing is happening. Did you plant the seeds at the right depth? Yes, I measured. Did you add water? I give it a lot of water. Can you come over and look at it? I'll be right over. Hi, thanks for coming. Here's the plant. Aha! What aha? What's in the pot? Beach sand. The lifeguard said I could take some. It's the beach sand that's the problem. There are a lot of things that grow at the beach. Grasses, palm trees, poison ivy. That's true. But just because some plants can grow in sand doesn't mean all plants can grow in sand. Let's go outside and do an experiment. I put some holes into the bottom of two plastic cups, like this. If we pour water into the cup with sand in it, and the same amount of water into the cup with soil in it that we dug up from your backyard, what do you think will happen? The sand in the soil will run out the bottom? Let's see. Now, pour the same amount of water into the cup that has soil in it. The water I poured in the soil stayed in, but the water I poured in the sand leaked out. That's right. Soil holds water better than sand. Some plants grow in dry, sandy soil, but others need moist soil. Is that the only difference between sand and soil? The big difference is that soil is alive, while sand isn't. Alive with what? Let's see. Soil is made up of mineral particles, organic things like water and air. Billions of creatures live in soil. Some, like earthworms, are big enough to see. Most others aren't. Look, I found a worm. Worms and other living things make the soil healthy, making it a great place for plants to grow. Couldn't we just buy those things and add them to sand? We could, but there are so many different parts of soil that it would take a lot of work. Really healthy soil can take 500 years to develop. I don't think I want to wait that long. Let's just use this soil. Watch your favorite shows anytime on the PBS Kids video app.